You're saying, where are the teachings? <laughs> where, where's the teachings? We ain't heard them in a minute. Where you been at? It's right there in the music, though. That's where all the lessons were. All of the message videos. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I even had a couple that was maybe 40 minutes long. It was all to prepare you for the music. Because there's there's key codes, there's light keys, and there's a level of, this is a certain level of ascendant work that you have to do after a certain degree. After you get to a certain degree in your knowledge and, and your expression and your elevation, you're gonna enter a space where you have to build thought forms, you have to build God forms, or I should say you get to build these things and egregores. You get to build them. So in building that, you may become more faceless as an entity, especially if you're the person behind it. Like for instance, I basically do everything for the, well not basically, literally. Um, so with that, you will get a somewhat diminished physical presence mind you but you'll get in exchange for that a uh, higher level content of a higher quantity and higher quality it does take quite a bit to um, to do the music and, and and whatnot but the flow of it how it um, connects to the merchandise and thank you for all of you who are in the process of purchase, purchasing merchandise at the higher worlds dot my spread shop dot com slash all um, if I'm not mistaken but I'll try to post it at the end of the songs and I'll try to put it in the description I don't want to get too uh, too advertising um you know, before, you know, YouTube and whatnot. Because I don't want, I don't want YouTube and Google to feel like um, I'm trying to draw uh, any value away from what they represent. Because I have my business through Google. So for me to, for me to post content on YouTube, uh, is not really the same thing as maybe a casual uh, playlist assimilation. This is uh, just an extension of the products. And essentially it's, it's really commercials. Uh, essentially it's commercials. Because you're putting out, you know, you're putting out what you um, are about. You're doing it free. You're doing it freely and for free. But if you do free right, they'll pay a fee. You're doing it freely and for free, but if you do free right, they'll pay a fee. All right? Again, you do it for free and you do it freely, but if you do free right, they'll pay a fee. But like any self-made tycoon, industrialist, CEO, business owner, you have to, you have to start where, let's see, you have to start, it's almost like forming your own way. Even if you're doing following an exact blueprint, you're still going to essentially do things your very own way. After all, you got your character and your personality. And as they say in the industry, you have your image and your likeness that is also a part of this product. And the business route works well if you have an extensive work history in many different facets 
So let's say, for instance, you worked warehousing your in business with merchandise, all right? Well, you're familiar with a supply chain. Well, let's say you didn't do that, but you worked in the office, or maybe you worked in the office too. Well, now you, you understand the mechanics of customer service and follow through and the paper trail and, and keeping all of, your, uh, all of your data official. So now you have administrative skills to go with it. Again, I'll keep reiterating uh, the book of Revelation talking about the rider on the white horse. On his head, he wore many crowns. So wear as many crowns as you can. Wear as many crowns as you can. I know it's gonna look like a, a, a special kind of hat when you think about it. Like, well, I'm not gonna put a, a 13 step pyramid on my head, but if you could wear 13 crowns, that makes you efficient in 13 different industries. In 13 different job descriptions, 13 different salaries, 13 different pay grades, 13 different streams of wealth. 13 pieces of the pie that you get to keep for yourself because you're doing the other parts. Essentially, in the ascendant work, this will result in greatness. You don't, it, it's not so much you doing one thing excellent or one thing very, very great, although you may, but it's more about uh, doing as many things as you can very, very well. Because what that's going to uh, create more than the novelty that comes with excellence sometimes, where it can give you that semblance of uh, catching lightning in a bottle. But this is more like consistency that breeds reliability. And it makes you as a product, as a brand, dependable. And dependable things, they last the test of time. Dependable things are examples of brands that are still around, that have probably been around for hundreds of years, and you, you know, you've been, you've seen enough history, perhaps, to know uh, how much the economy goes and up, goes up and down. But if these, uh, if these things are still lasting, certain brands, then there's a dependability, there's a reliability, there's a consistency there. And if you are to ascend to uh, maybe higher Eleusinian levels, or if you're really working, what is it? The 22 spheres and the 32 paths, I forget how it goes with uh, Kabbalah. But if you're working out the spheres and you're understanding the energies and you basically got the psychology down pat of all that goes on there, uh, it's gonna definitely make much better use of your common sense. This is the ascendant work, mind you, the ascendant work. This is not mandatory, but if you are you know, on an ascension and you feel like for whatever reason, you just have this urge to keep trying to, to, keep trying to become better each day. We don't all always feel this urge. A lot of times we're just trying to get through the next day or another day is whatever, whatever. Or, you know, it'd be a lot of days that just ain't that deep. It's just blah. You just, you know, you, you, know, you go to work, watch TV, you eat what you want to eat, and you go to sleep. Do what you want to do. And you, you know, a lot of times it's blah. But if you feel yourself, a bigger part of your character and your story arc is becoming like daily goals that come with self-improvement, then you're going to be... Uh, embarking on an adventure so do strap in your seatbelt and uh don't turn don't uh consider turning back as things get more convoluted because all of this is the uh is the elements coming together in your favor and they might be pulled from all directions it may come in spontaneous ways you might you, you may find yourself not even allowing yourself to get in the mood to do things before you do things. So that in a nutshell is the ins and outs of the ascendant work when it comes to uh, the entrepreneurial track and the uh, explanation for the, uh, the shortage in message videos. Super T Sigma, peace and blessings. Stay illuminated, people. Peace.